Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about PowerPoint. What does that PowerPoint to do with BIM, you ask? <laughs> well, nothing, but um, still you'll be finding yourself using a lot of PowerPoint in your work life. So we might as well talk about it because everybody's always complaining, but I think um, there are actually some really helpful tools inside of PowerPoint that some people don't know. So today I will be sharing them with you so you can up your PowerPoint game and then spend less time on like making presentations and be happier and spend more time doing the BIM stuff that you want to be doing. Okay, let's get into it. Hello and welcome to the beautiful user interface that is Microsoft PowerPoint. The first thing I want to show you, and I bet you didn't know this, is that you can actually record your screen uh, in PowerPoint. So if you, for example, want to do a little clip of your uh, model or if you want to show somebody how they can do a certain thing, you don't need to download any software because you can do that with PowerPoint. And what you need to do is just you go here into insert and then on the media you will find uh, this screen recording button, which is grayed out right now because I am uh, using it to record my screen. So wait a second. Here we go. So when we click on it, it opens up this little um, menu that lets you select an area, area, which <laughs> area which you want to record. So you can either select the whole screen or if you want to do a video of your model, you might just record this area and then uh, spin it or whatever. Um, you can also select whether the mouse should be, the, like the mouse pointer should be on show as well or not, and whether it should record your audio or not. And then, so now let's say, oh, we want to record the whole screen and we want to, so we hit record and then it starts and then we want to show our model. By the way, this is um, the little Christmas winter scenery that I created for my Christmas video, um, if you haven't seen that. So yeah, and then if you want to exit or pause your recording, you have to go to the top of the, the screen and then the menu will pop back up and you can either pause or stop it. And then you have the video in your PowerPoint. And from here you can use it um, either in your presentation or if you just wanted to have the video and not the presentation, you can go right click on it and go to save media as and then it will be saved um, just as an mp4 file and you can send it to somebody or use it for whatever. And then the second thing I wanted to show you is, for example, when you have a lot of text like here that you want to tidy up, then what you usually do is you drag it and you try to like get those red lines, but it doesn't always work and it's not very efficient. So what you can do is you can just select all of them and then go to here, format, align, and then first align them left, but also distribute them evenly and then you have it with two clicks and neatly aligned <laughs> and then the next thing that i want to show you is here insert shapes and this freeform thing here because this is actually quite practical for example let's say we have here this picture of a building in Germany, very controversial building, in fact. <laughs> but let's say we want to cut out the um, top part of it, the blue part here, because we want to talk about the shape of it or whatever. So what you could do is you could import this into Photoshop and then do it there and export it and then put it in your presentation. But if you don't want to do this, you can also use the free form to just um, click around the corners of it. So let's say we create oops, this kind of shape here. 
and then we fill it white and also the outlines white and do the same thing on the top and here you can go uh, really detailed but I'm going to do it only roughly now because I want to show you something else okay let's do this quick and dirty okay and now do this in white okay and then you see that you have done uh, some mistakes here and what you can do oops I moved it what you can do is you can go on the format edit shape and then you can actually edit the points and for example you could zoom in now and then correct every single point to be right on uh, the line and whatever and make it really pretty but for now oops but yeah you get the point so basically all i wanted to say is that those free forms are actually um quite helpful for some things it doesn't have to be this use case but also you can if you for example want to make a graphic and you find a graphic that you like online but you don't like the colors of it so you can put put it here and then just model um draw over it with some kind of free form and then change the color to whatever you like for example and then something similar to this would be, for example, if you want to use a colored background in your, your presentation, but then when you insert a picture from the internet, let's say for example this, it doesn't look very nice because of the white background of the um, graphics. So what you could do again, you could go to Photoshop, but it will be a lot of work. And the tool that PowerPoint has for this, in this case, is here under color, you can set a transparent color. So if we say now white is the transparent color, it, it cuts out all the white parts and then we can um, insert it very nicely. So that was my little tour into PowerPoint. I hope you liked it. If you have some other cool tips that you think could be helpful for people, feel free to comment them down below and share them with everybody so we can all be more happy with our presentations. <laughs> and then since it's still January, I hope you had a good start of the new year and happy new year. And I hope 2019 is going to be awesome for you all. And, um, also, I feel like I owe an apology to my subscribers because in I, like on my channel it says I post new videos every Monday and this hasn't been the case lately. I'm very sorry and I don't think I can do weekly videos now that I'm working and doing my master's thesis. So, sorry. I do definitely want to continue doing videos because it is actually a lot of fun but I just and I do have a lot of ideas still but um, I just need to find the time so it's not going to be as regular anymore as I started out with uh, at the beginning of last year. Sorry but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and then I'll see you soon. Bye bye! And I have a little extra for you because I don't really know how you would use this but I think it's very pretty to look at. If you go to insert and then 3D models you get all these 3D objects that you can put into your, um, into your presentation and also some of them are animated like this one here of our solar system and it's really cool. Check this out. As I said, I don't really know how you would use this, but I think it's very cool to look at. And technically, you could also insert your BIM model here because you can also upload your own file, but it would have to be in any of these formats. And I don't think you can export it directly from Revit 
in one of those, but I bet there's a way to transform it. So let me know if you ever try this. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna leave this here for you.